Everybody, Norm over here, and this is a 1947 Martin D18, uh, complete cannon, had a neck reset. Other than that, it's a nice straight guitar, big neck. I've got gloves on, but this thing still is a monster sounding guitar. Uh, 1947 D18 mahogany sides and back, rosewood fingerboard and bridge, tortoise guard, spruce top. It's what you would want in a Martin Dreadnought. Um, just a really great guitar and a cool collectible right here at Norm's Rare Guitars. Okay, this is a really cool uh, Gibson Granada Master Tone uh, from 1925. It has a Harry Sparks uh, five string neck. Um, you know, most of these were tenors or plectrums, and it's just, the guy did a beautiful job on the neck. This was also owned by Dan Crary, who's one of the most famous bluegrass players, played with Bill Monroe, and he played with Marty Stewart and all kinds of people. Um, just a very cool banjo, um, and it was owned by Dan Crary, and here's, uh, you want to take a picture of that, you can get the specs on that. Yeah. If you're a bluegrass fan, this is a killer banjo. I wish I could demo it for you, but I don't know how to play banjo. But this is a really great instrument, gold plated, just stunning master tone. And there you go. Okay, this is one of the coolest arch tops ever. This is a 1939 Gibson L5C, uh, one of the first cutaway. Acoustic arch top L5s, got just the beautiful, you know, blonde finish, beautiful flame maple sides and back, the uh, Bakelite tuner buttons, ebony fingerboard, the script logo, Gibson, and the flower pot up there, just an amazing guitar, uh, one of the most beautiful arch tops ever right here and it's got the original tweed case that came with it okay. um, if you like arch tops this is it right here okay. it's one of the most beautiful ES 330s 1960 that I've ever seen uh, yeah. this is uh, got the two black P90s. It's an ES330 TD, which is the thin double pickup. Uh, dot neck, fingerboard, totally original guitar that's just in stunning condition. Uh, one of my favorite models. Um, they're lightweight, they're completely hollow, different from the 335s. It's got the uh, ABR1 trapeze tailpiece. Uh, just an amazing example of one of the most beautiful 330s I've ever seen, right here at the All Guitar Network, Norm's Rare Guitars, and this is the uh, Vintage Guitar Minute right here. Very cool guitar. Okay, here. And this is a 1971, very early, original, Dan Armstrong Plexi Guitar. And these guitars, what's kind of cool is some of them have multiple pickups, and you can just slide the pickup out and put another pickup in. Uh, it's a plexiglass guitar, rosewood fingerboard. Um, these things sound great. Keith Richards uses one of these a lot. Um, this very cool guitar, really nice uh, shape to the body, and a beautiful example. This was owned by a guy named Doug Messenger, who actually played with Van Morrison. Uh, very, very cool guitar. Here it is right here. This is a beautiful 1967 Telecaster. And what's really cool about this, it's still lacquer finished on the fingerboard here on the neck. Um, you know, they went to the polyurethane after that. Still got the white wrap around the pickup. This is a maple cap, which it's a maple neck, but with uh, no skunk stripe. This, the fingerboard is actually put on above the neck. Uh, where the other ones are one piece neck and they have a route here and that's what the uh, um, that skunk stripe is for so they can insert the truss rod the way they do this is they do this as if it was like a rosewood neck where the whole board is off 
they put the rod in and then they put the maple cap on here. They only did this for a very short time. Beautiful example of a 67 Tele in the uh, cream color, Tele cream, white guard. Uh, just a really nice example of a great guitar. Okay, so this is one of the most beautiful Gibson harp guitars that I've ever had. Uh, this was also owned by the famous bluegrass picker Dan Crary. And um, just an outstanding instrument. There's uh, a number of people that play these and know what they're doing on these. I don't. But, uh, you know, it plays like a regular guitar on this, and then there's these uh, strings that you can kind of hit and then play chords and, you know, play the bass note here and then uh, play the chord on this. And uh, as you can see, it's got the trapeze tail piece um, in a really nice condition. This is turn of the century, probably around 1910, 12, somewhere in there. Um, just a beautiful example of a really rare Gibson instrument. This is kind of museum quality. And here's the letter from Dan, you know, just explaining a little bit about the guitar. Great. And it has its original case where a lot of these, you don't find them with the original cases. Just an amazing example of a great guitar.